Hi, this is Barry with La Mesa RV. Today I'm going to share with you the all new 2022 Winnebago Echo. This amazing floor plan was designed for that off-road enthusiastic adventure person that wants the capability of a B-Van with that all-wheel or four-wheel drive but just can't do it in the regular size of a B-Van. Some of the unique features are gonna include some amazing solar that I'm gonna talk about, the heated garage with 54 cubic feet of space, the intelligent all-wheel drive, so if you like to get off grid, but the most amazing thing obviously is the lithium battery capacity and the bat wing awning that is a uh, addition to the coach, which I'm gonna show you that here in just a little bit. So come on inside, we're gonna take a look and show you some of these cool features on this all new vehicle. So first of all, countertops. Okay, these are fully laminate. So very, very durable, very easy to clean, very easy to take care of. You're not gonna to have to spend a lot of time in here cook, you know, cleaning and things like that. One thing I like to point out too, Winnebago doesn't cheapen things up. When they build something, they build something very, very well. So for instance, stainless steel sinks. A lot of manufacturers use plastic and other things like that, but this is more residential like you would find in your home. A chrome solid residential faucet is another aspect that I like to talk about. But I love this. Look at this extension that they give you. So if you need to wash food off or definitely use this for longer aspects of cleaning your food and things like that and then it just retracts right back into the uh, to the spot right there on your sink cover you know so you have more counter space you could use it for that but then i mean it's the little things look at how they've turned this over wood siding you could use this as a cutting board so also in the galley your two burner cooktop stove, glass cooktop, real glass, more counter space if you need it. But then you have a two LP burner stove, very good size pot and pan area. So if you're gonna cook and you like to cook things, this is definitely a bigger space than you'll find in a lot of smaller coaches, okay? Your cabinet drawers, nice deep cabinet drawers. Love the solid wood that they use in this as well, along with the laminate fascia. Same here, this is a nice pot and pan drawer. So if you like to go out for several days, you can do that. You do have a plug right here that you can use. This has a 2000 watt inverter. So you can use this for the uh, coffee pot or the blender if you like to make margaritas. Down underneath here, you've got a lot of storage under this as well. The other thing that they offer is standard is a filtration system for your water. Now the filtration system's only for the main galley sink for drinking water and things like that in this area. That's the only spot for that. Then you do have another plug right here. Microwave is easy to get to. Good size microwave. It's not a full residential, but it is a good size microwave to cook all the food that you'd like to cook in this. A 5.3 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So not only will this work off of shore power, but it will also run off a of 12 volt, which is off of your batteries. This has a lithium battery system, 320 uh, amp hours. So you got plenty of off-grid powers. You got plenty of power to run this refrigerator for several hours. It's a compressor driven fridge. It requires no propane to operate this. It gets colder much faster, stays colder longer, and you can actually put food in here and freeze it and it will stay frozen. Pantry. Some nice little pantry area right here. So if you like to take those canned goods and so forth, rice, beans, whatever it is, you've got this area right here. So they've done a phenomenal job, in my opinion, in a smaller space to be able to give you a lot of demographics to be able to store things, bring pots and pans, bring some food with you, of course, and then obviously a good area to cook and clean. Then also you have this nice big uh, window right here so if you want to look out your campsite not only do you have a day shade aspect of it but you also have a nightshade privacy shade and then probably the coolest thing with this being a dual pane acrylic type window is this is very very easy to use okay there's four basically clips that hold this in and you can barely open this up just for some cross ventilation or airflow right then you can just pull, push this out and it has individual lockouts on it. So you can move it out just a little bit more if you want to. So you can kind of see how I'm doing it there. 
then it goes out even a little bit further. So there's increments to each part of the windows to give you more airflow, or if you just want to completely open it all the way up, you can do that. And then to release it, you take it all the way up, come all the way down, and these rivets right here is what keeps the window open or when you want to close it. I'm gonna show you one of the coolest bathrooms I've ever seen in a small, small coach. All right, with this coach only being 23 feet in length, you gotta utilize every space. Winnebago did a phenomenal job with that. So we're gonna start here with this additional part of the bamboo type floor that's down here. You got a lot of space to be able to brush your teeth in the galley area of the sink. This snap up here holds this pivoting door, and I'm gonna go over that with you in just a minute to show you the separation between the actual sink area, the shower with the toilet. Nice good sized mirror right here, so you have enough space to be able to see yourself getting ready. You do have a storage medicine cabinet over here as well, and then you have another acrylic dual pane window that you can open up for cross ventilation and so forth as well. All right, you can lock this back in. It also has your day privacy screen and your full privacy screen. This has a swiveling toilet. You can angle this when the door is shut. So for bigger people, taller people, gives you that aspect to be able to do that so that it's not straight on. Toilet paper holder, which is right here, which I really, really like, gives you a spot for that. Now, I'm gonna show you the coolest thing with this entire bathroom. Because a lot of wet baths don't give you that much space. Not only do you have your water pump switch if you forget to turn it on the outside of the coach or a different spot of the coach, but you could turn it on right here. Look at that. Look at the size of that shower. Now I'm six foot tall and I want you to look at the space that I have to be able to turn, okay? And I mean, I've got plenty of head clearance. Got a nice light in here as well. There again, residential type uh, mechanisms in here for the shower. And you just have a ton of room. Not only do you have the room for that, they also give you a couple of robe hooks or towel hooks that you could put right here. Then you do have a privacy curtain when you want to take a shower as well that you can shut to give you even more privacy. So, Winnebago, I'm gonna tell you, they, they, they hit it out of the park with this, just to give you this space and to give you all this room, but to also give you the separation from the shower, the toilet, and the sink. It's pretty amazing. So one big thing that I always like to talk about is the fact that if you've got a couple of other people that you want to bring with you, a couple of kids or a couple of friends, you have a nice, nice, nice area to sit here. These seats are very upfitted with a nice, nice material. They have three point seat belts. So if you have small kids and things like that, they're definitely going to be very, very safe when it comes to that aspect of it. When I talk about the work area of it, check out this table, all right? This table, once I get my leg out of the way, I mean, you can move, you can work, you could sit here, play cards. Those two chairs rotate around, which is a phenomenal feature. But the aspect of working from this or having dinner or whatever it is that you like to do, you have a couple of USB plugs up here, you have a 12 volt plug, and you have another 110 plug. So if you have a lab laptop or an iPad, you can plug those in, do all your work right here. While you're working from here, you've got another big window that you can look out of, have a great visibility. This window does open. You obviously have those same privacy shades that you had in the galley that I showed you earlier, okay? You got the day shade. And then if you want to collapse this table, it basically has a release pivot switch right underneath here. And then it has a magnet that kind of keeps it locked into place. Now up here, you got more storage huge huge storage I like this reinforcement or separation that you can have in this cabinet okay this has nice magnets that holds that up out of the way solid solid doors you got roof speakers so if you want to play music inside the coach you can do that as well 
Now, when we're talking about this area up here, is you do have storage. You have more storage that they were integrate. They were able to integrate into the cab area. Now, <clears throat> this TV with soundbar and Sony Blu-ray player is an option on the coach. If you decide not to get the entertainment system, this would just obviously be open and there would be more storage. Okay. Then, as we come around, you can see this pivotable, portable, lagoon type table. So not only does this give you another workspace, but this also gives you an extension to your cooktop galley area. Once you kind of get this into place in the way that you want it, this locks into place and will hold right there. Another incredible feature to this vehicle is the pop top option, which would be directly above me right up here. Okay, so basically if you order it with that, you have another sleeping area for two people. So when we talk about the cockpit of the all new Echo, this is built on the Ford Transit chassis. All right, so Ford Transit obviously means Ford been around a long time, but what they've done is they've integrated a lot of our incredible features on our cars into this RV cutaway chassis. For instance, obviously power windows, power locks, cruise control, that comes pretty standard on most vehicles anymore, right? But when we talk about some of the great innovation, this has a lot of the advanced safety technology like lane keeping assist, adaptive braking, navigation is on this vehicle. This also has the Ford Sync system. We talk about the volume controls. You can adjust the volume on the stereo. You have Bluetooth capability that has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for your Android or your Apple devices. All right. You can answer the phone. You can hang up the phone. There's also an availability of a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you want Wi-Fi on the go, there is an available option for that. What I like about the new Transit chassis as well is the integration of the screen tells you your fuel mileage. If you want to time out a trip, tells you when you're getting out of your lane because it has lane keeping assist. Also has adaptive cruise control. Tells you how many miles you have before you're out of fuel. So it gives you a lot of integration for our high-end cars, but several years ago they didn't offer any of these kind of technology features. Not only do you have that, but you have this sync system this system here is all touch screen, so if you have your Bluetooth and you want to hook up your phone, you can. You've got full navigation in the vehicle. This also has apps on the vehicle, so there's a Ford app that you can download and have apps that integrate into the Ford Sync system. Also has Sirius Satellite XM radio with travel link capabilities. And then obviously this is your settings mode. Um, and for your mobile apps, when you add apps that are, are capable to the transit, chassis. Full AM FM radio, air conditioning of course. I love this feature. This has an auto stop start feature. So for fuel consumption everybody wants to know fuel mileage. Our indication from previous transit chassis that we've had with the intelligent all-wheel drive is probably 14 to 15 miles to the gallon on average but obviously that's going to depend on where you're at, what part of the country you're in, if you're towing something, if you're not. Talk about your Hazard lights are easy to get to, of course. You've got a USB port plus a 12 volt port. You got nice, good size cup holders. You've got an integrated brake controller already built into the vehicle because it has a hitch. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And a lot of storage. I mean, there really is a lot of cup holders, a lot of storage up here. You really have to come check this out to really see the, see the aspects of it, not to mention the two swivel seats. So when you turn the seats around, these are fully capable of doing that so you can entertain with your friends and your family. You've got two aspects to the privacy of your coach up here on the new Echo. Not only do you have a privacy curtain, okay, and this just Velcros up into the vehicle right up here. You'll see these Velcro snaps that go around the unit. And then right here on the other side is the Velcro strip that connects to that. So it gives you full privacy up here when you guys are parked for the night or whatever you like to do if you don't want to anybody to see inside the vehicle. Your automotive grade windows have good insulation, but obviously they're not as good as the dual pane acrylic windows that they use in this coach for cold or hot temperatures. I thought this was really a good innovation the way Winnebago did this, 
but they give you this thermal curtain as well. And this thermal curtain is much thicker, much heavier. Now the only small challenge is, is if you want these seats rotated, you can't really do that unless you unzip it in the middle, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But the idea is to keep coolness in the coach if you're in really hot temperatures, and keep the heat out if you're in really cold temperatures, or heat in, I should say. So, as you can see, these just snap right in, okay? And they've built this exactly the way this is fitted, which is really, really neat, okay? And voila, there's your heavy duty thermal curtain. Now you can unzip this at the bottom, like I said, but obviously you're gonna let a little cooler temperatures come in or a little heat come in if you're in those really, really hot or cold temperatures if you don't keep this zipped up. All right, we're gonna talk about the bedroom and the all new Echo. I'm gonna tell you there's a lot of room back here cameras make things look bigger but this is actually a good sized bedroom first of all obviously there's one floor plan it's two twins these are 32 by 76 or they do make in two with these two pieces into a full size queen so you have two sleeping areas separate or you can make it into a full bed if you'd like to they used to outsource all of their bedding what I mean by that is their mattresses and so forth, you, they used to get from other companies. Well, they started because they are an innovator and make a lot of their own furniture from sofa material to cabinetry and things like that. They started making their own mattresses for this particular coach. And I got to tell you, I laid in this thing and these are 32 by 76 and they are super, super comfortable. Everybody's different in the way that they love to sleep, but I'll tell you, this would fit the bill pretty well for me. Not only do you have one, but you have two huge windows in the back that are fully insulated, dual pane as well. You have those nice privacy shade curtains and night curtains as well that come up, okay? Emergency exits on this side, of course, you can see that right here. Now, your two twins do make into a full-size bed. Now, you can leave it up like this, you can kind of see, this makes into like a little workstation or if you want to keep, you know, drinks and things like that back here, or like to read a book, you've got a couple of night lights, which is nice. You can do that, but it's very, 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 very easy to make this into a full-size bed. So your major base is right here, the soft piece is going to go there, and then the actual base with the platform is gonna go right here and then basically lock in to the platform right here. I mean, a lot of these beds in these coaches are very hard and they're like a puzzle. This is very, very easy, very simple to, to do, okay? You do have decent storage in this back, in the back area back here. These cabinets are pretty, pretty deep. I like the fact that they have a porthole right here. So if you do have a CPAP machine, you can run a cord right up through this little compartment area, okay? You do have a 110 plug, a couple of USBs, and a 12 volt for your cell phone or all of your mobile devices if you decide to take those with you, okay? There is a roof port vent for roof access. So if you wanna put like a Wi-Fi booster or something like that up there for a cell phone, you can do that. These cabinets are still magnetic up here and they lock into place very well. You do have another 110 plug and a cable outlet that's already access ported for a television if you wanted to put a TV back here. Also, you do have storage on both sides of the bed. So you want to keep knickknacks, magazines, whatever you'd like, you can put those in there. And then you have very easy access to come out of the bed. Plus, you do have two hanging closets or more storage, okay? You have that on this side, and you have it on this side, all right? They really utilize the space very, very well. And then last but not least, your air conditioner's back here. It's much quieter than the old ACs, plus the ducted system. And you do have a privacy curtain to block off the bedroom as well. Now right here by the wall, let's just say that you guys get 
a little chilly at night or you want the heat on. Thermostat, this is a GE residential type appliance once again. This is your Truma. This has to do with the heating system of the coach. So this operates your heat. This operates the thermostat for your air conditioning. And you do have the galley light for the bathroom and the bedroom. This control panel does a few things for you that make it very easy to operate this adventure van. So when you come into the entry side of the door on this wall panel, at the top you're going to see the Zan Trax inverter switch. So if you want to control inverted components on your coach, you simply turn this button off, as I just did, and you turn this button on. So for example, if you want to run your air conditioner off of your lithium batteries, if you choose to take the generator option, you can do that. You can run the microwave. There's a lot of components in this RV that you can use off of your Xantrax inverter. This panel right here is your solar controller. So with your 455 watts of solar, this will tell you what your battery level is. It'll also tell you what your amperage is, how much solar is uh, recharging your batteries and gives you a lot of components and very easy information on this panel. Then this main panel right here will actually show you your coach battery life, will show you your tank levels, will also show you when you're using your generator. Now if you get the full lithium option, this will be gone. And then also your water pump if your water pump is on or it's off. Now what I thought was really neat when I was doing a little research on this when your coach battery actually gets low this actually has a little warning signal and actually shows you when your battery level is getting down actually give you a little warning beep that you either need to start the rv run your generator etc to get your coach batteries back up ford transit chassis this is on a one ton Transit chassis, it's just a tad over 23 feet in length, a little over seven feet wide. But when I talk about the chassis, Ford made some massive improvements. They went to a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 with 310 horse and 400 foot pounds of torque. I gotta tell you, I drove this thing. It's a little rocket ship for a small little camper van, right? Gives you an amazing amount of torque to get you out and around those vehicles when you're traveling, but also gives you enough power if you want to tow something small behind your unit. Other thing that I really love is the brand new lighting that they've done. You've got LED wraparound headlights. You've got high intensity discharge headlights. It gives you great visibility when you're out traveling on those back country roads that are really dark. You also have premium fog lights down here as well. I really love the aggressiveness of the grill. I think they did a nice job with the honeycomb type grill, the way that these slots are built in here, and then obviously got the nice big Ford emblem. Got these nice intakes for your air when you're talking about driving down the, down the highway. Nice big windshield, but obviously you got a beautiful aerodynamic cap, all right? One other thing Winnebago does, they really do things right. You have a one-piece fiberglass roof with no seams. You talk about the width of the coach, I told you, is just a little over seven feet, but you also have nice breakaway mirrors when you're going around. You've got integrated turn signals for an additional part of the safety aspect. I love the fact they put a really good tire. These are hand-cooked tires on the unit. You've got stylized aluminum wheels, so it really just brings out that rugged aggressiveness to the coach. Standard running boards, so for anyone that needs a little bit more aspect to the ground clearance to get in inside the vehicle. You definitely have that. Then you've just got a massive amount of room inside the cab as, as well to give you a lot of leg room, a lot of comfort. Talk about the integration of the body. Fiberglass, this has right at a two inch block foam insulated fiberglass. Very, very, very solid. The door on this coach, it's engineered very similar to a diesel pusher. Diesel pushers have a very, very strong, big, big door. When you open this, you're gonna find out for the first time it's solid as can be. So talking about the awning a little bit, you got an awesome LED light underneath the awning. Now Winnebago's offered a carefree app where the awning light is actually dimmable from your app, not inside the coach, but you can dim the lighting up and down. 
you can see it covers virtually the entire RV. Now they have given you an option that you can delete the awning from the coach if you decide you don't want an awning, but it gives you the option either way if you want it or if you don't want it. We're gonna talk a little bit about the tailgate package on this that's available as an option. Now, one thing I wanna let you know, if you get the tailgate package, you cannot get the pop top, all right? There is an available pop top on this for additional sleeping, but because of the CCC or cargo carrying capacity, you can't get it because Winnebago wanted to give you a maximum amount of cargo carrying capacity, which I believe is a minimum of about 1,500 pounds. So that's kind of the trade-off when you're talking about getting this versus the pop top or vice versa, getting the pop top and the tailgate package. I'm going to show you a couple of really neat things that's unique to this vehicle, okay? So there's two tabs down here. And this unit, first section comes out, and then the second section comes out as well, like so. So not only do you have an outside freezer slash refrigerator, shows you all your temperature controls right here, the on and off switch is right down here on the bottom just below this rail. Then you can adjust the temperature. If you want cold drinks on there or whatever, you can adjust it based on what you like. Now your outside cooktop, if you like to cook outside like I like to do, this is a great, great feature. Then inside here, they have a portable little sink area, right? This guy pops up. This guy opens up like this. Okay, this goes right in there like that, and then has a little drain, so if you wanna prepare some food, you got a little work area, then you've got this little outside shower or sink prep area to be able to prep food or whatever it is that you'd like to do. So, outside refrigerator, freezer, cooktop, and a portable sink as well. Very, very unique. One of the coolest innovations I've seen on a small unit like this. You've got a couple of really awesome features right here. When you get hooked up to your cable or campsite, you've got cable outlet right here. You also have a 12 volt power outlet right here. So if you have a gaming device or something that has a 12 volt plug, you can plug it in. Plus, you also have a 110 outlet here and you have another 110 outlet right there, okay? You can get the Echo without the graphics. There's two different graphics, one's green and one's orange or you can do it with no graphics. You will still get the Echo logo on the side of the coach, but this part of the coach will be completely clean with just this gray colored looking fiberglass on the unit, all right? Back here, best water heater in the industry. This is a Truma AquaGo with Comfort Plus, okay? Now, the aspect of this is this is your release valve when you want to drain the water out of it, but it literally has no tank. What this is right here is a one and a half liter tube. So it recirculates through the exchangers and this amount of water constantly stays hot inside the RV. So when you turn it on, you have on demand, endless hot water all the time. So you don't have to worry about recirculating after four or five minutes of a shower or whatever. It's the best water heater in the industry. Truma has been doing this for a very, very, very long time. Very easy access if you need to winterize it or whatever to get access, it's right there. Talk a little bit about the propane tanks. I like what Winnebago did. They've given you two five pound cylinders just like you would have on a barbecue at your house. You can exchange these anywhere like Blue Rhino or America Ass, whatever the company might be. If you wanna have them refilled, you can have them refilled, but you've got a good amount of propane for boondocking, dry camping, whatever it is that you like to do. That's what they built this unit for. Now, outside here, you also have a quick disconnect that's already plumbed into the propane tanks as well. So if you have a little campfire, a little grill separate to the tailgate package, you do have that as well. Now, if you want to use the two burner cooktop on the tailgate package, you do have to get an accessory line that runs from the quick disconnect to the tailgate package to have propane to that source, but very easy, very convenient to do.
All right, now I'm gonna talk about one of the coolest things on this coach. For only being roughly 23 feet, you don't ever, ever, ever get storage like this coach has to offer. 54 cubic feet of storage that is fully pass-throughable from both sides of your adventure van and through the back, all right? This coach is unbelievable. I mean, literally, I'm six feet tall. I can get back here. I can lay down. If I get in trouble with my wife, at least I have a place to sleep instead of having to sleep outside. <laughs> but seriously, it has a ton, a ton of storage. They've given you a lot of ports to it. You have another 110 outlet right here. You have another 12 volt power outlet as well. I love how everything's gone to LED in the unit. So you have these outside LED lights to give you a lot of visibility if it's dark outside. This whole garage or storage compartment area is fully heated as well. So if you get into those cold, cold climates, because this is truly a four season RV, the way it's engineered, the way it's built, this is your return for your Trimo variant heat. But on the other side here in just a second, when we walk around this way, this is actually your output for the heat. So if you have things back here that you don't want to get frozen or whatever, you do have this access for heat from the coach to be able to keep this warm and insulated. If you need to access your actual holding tanks, they're back behind this wall. So you can see right here, here's several screws. If it ever needed to be serviced on both sides, you have access to be able to get to your tanks if they ever need to be repaired, taken care of. Very, very easy to do. You have another 110 outlet, another 12 volt power outlet. And I mean, this thing, it's solid. It's very, very solid, very durable. So coming around on this side of the garage, on both sides of the access to the unit, I thought this was really a small thing, but a big, big deal. You've got these molly panels, all right? So for all you hikers and bikers and people that love to do things outdoors, you can literally hook anything you want. You can put your helmet on this. You can hang your shoes from this. Anything that you basically want to hang from this, I mean, within reason of weight, but you know, I'm pulling down on this pretty hard, okay? I'm giving it pretty good force. It's not even budging. You have one on this side. You also have one on that side. The other thing, if you get muddy shoes, muddy, whatever the case may be, muddy gear if you're a hiker, this basically is a removable rear liner. So you can take this out, you can wash it out, and then you have full access. Once you get done cleaning that up, to put it back in here and use it over and over and over again. But you can see this same material that's built into the floor is built into the backing of this, and then also the rest of the unit as well. Last thing I wanna show you is these tie down racks in here. So if you have bikes, anything you wanna tie down, these rails are built into the very top, go all the way across the garage area. Also, you've got them on the bottom down here as well on this side, and you have them on this side. So for anybody that has those expensive bikes, they wanna be able to tie them down so they don't move around inside the unit. You have them up here at the top on this side, this side, down at the bottom, and then, so you basically have a total of four. They go across the entire RV in the back of the cargo storage area. We're gonna talk about your hookup area. Okay, so nice big door. And one thing I love about this is everything is above the floor, right? So very well insulated. This potable water source, I think is a game changer. Not every RV has this. So let's say that you're not at an RV park and you don't have a city connection. You can simply go to Walmart, any convenience store, get gallons of water, pour this into this tube right here and you will have fresh water into your fresh water tank. So I call it an emergency fill if you're out boondocking, dry camping, which a lot of you that buy this are gonna be doing that. So really a game changer when you really talk about that. Another heating source to keep the heat aspect inside your hookup area. So if you get into colder climates, hopefully you'll be where it's nice, but if you get into colder climates, this is all heated for you. Outside shower, I love this. You've got an outside LED light. 
There's also another LED light right inside here. So if it's dark outside, you've got good visibility outside of the unit. Then you also have good visibility inside the coach as well. Also, if you forget to turn on your water pump inside, there is a water pump switch right here, right above your LED light. So you could turn that on and off. Just a lot more convenient, okay? And obviously where you want city connection, want your tank filled, you want a dry camp, everything's labeled and very easy to read, okay? <clears throat> Winterization valve, if you need to winterize the coach, that's built in right here. This is your fresh tank drain. This is your fresh water drain. There is no pull valve for your black tank because it goes into another separate area, which I'm gonna show you in a couple of minutes. Then also, this is your gray valve for your gray water tank. 51 gallons of gray and 50 gallons of fresh water on this coach. I mean, that's just, it, it's unheard of. Most units like this have in the teens for fresh water or gray water. They don't have this type of capacity. Overflow valve, so if you get where your water tank overflows, this is an overflow valve, so you don't have to worry about, did I overfill my water tank? If you do and you put a little bit too much water in there, it's all good, that's what this is for. 30 amp unit, 30 amp coach. Plug into shore power, all you need is 30 amp, you don't need 50 amp on this unit, okay? This is your exhaust for your Truma heat source, okay? Coming around here, this access port right here. Now, let's talk about a little bit about the uh, aspects of the lithium battery. Standard is a 320 amp hour lithium battery on this coach with a 2800 watt gas generator. Now, you can option out the generator and have another 320 amp hour lithium battery put in this coach if you don't want a generator. If you do that, this is gonna be your on and off switch for the additional battery. Now there is enough room for an additional lithium battery from Lithionics. That's the manufacturer of the battery system. That has to be done through them. We can't do it due to the fact of the cargo carrying capacity and changing those demographics of it. But that right here is your switch to turn that on and off. So it's very easy to get to, very accessible. <clears throat> right here, if you do go with the generator, this is where your generator is gonna be. It's a 2800 watt quiet gas generator. It's pretty amazing how quiet it really is. So if you go this route with the gen, you're gonna get one standard lithium battery. If you don't get the generator, this is gonna be another little storage compartment. And then your two batteries are both gonna be right here in this compartment, okay? Here's your one standard 320 amp hour lithium battery. If you go with the second battery, it's gonna be back behind this actual battery with no generator. Over here is your inverter. All right, if you don't get the gen, obviously the pipe won't be here, the exhaust pipe for the generator. That'll just be blank, all right? Love the doors, love the aspect of how easy they are to open. They've got these nice little latches that hold them up. Also, Lithionics is the manufacturer for the batteries. You've got an app that you can download on your phone. So you can constantly measure how much amperage is in your battery, what you're using in your coach. If you go for a bike ride for an hour or two and you notice that your batteries are getting low, this will tell you exactly what your level is on your batteries when you're not inside the RV. It's free, I have it on my phone. It's pretty darn cool. As a matter of fact, let me just show you guys right here. This just shows you I'm right by this Echo. And you can see, check this out. This shows you your battery percentage, shows your voltage, shows you what's current, how much power is being used, the temperature of your batteries, and just all these diagnostics, which is just pretty amazing technology. And like I said, this app is completely free. So when you buy your coach and it's linked up to the phone, it's right there at the fingertips for you. So we're gonna talk about your five gallon cassette toilet, all right? A lot of your camper vans in today's market are going to this to give you bigger holding capacities for your fresh and your gray, right? 
Very easy to access. This is lockable. Here's your access to your cassette toilet when you want to pull this out. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if the toilet is not straight inside the bathroom, if it's cocked either way a little bit, it locks us up where you can't pull this out. Now when you come in here and you lift this little tab, this comes right out of there, okay? You've got your turn aspect, so when you want to dump it into the sewer, it's right here. This releases the valve on that, and then you do have a, uh, you do have a little handle. So if you don't want to carry that thing, you can wheel it just like this. All right, let's talk about some of the components on the roof. I mentioned one-piece fiberglass, no seams, 455 watts of solar, two 170-watt panels, and an additional third 115-watt panel. Along with that, you also have a 13,500 BTU AC, that's standard as well, and this roof rack system that you literally can tie down if you want to tie down a kayak or anything else across the unit that you may not be able to fit in your cargo space and things like that, that's also standard. Now, if you get the pop top, the pop top does eliminate the cargo rack up top, all right? Because they don't have any room to put it up there. You also do get solar, but you lose 220 watts of solar when you do that because they can't put as many panels up there. The moment we've all been waiting for, the most impressive feature on this adventure van, all right? The Echo offers this optional bat wing covered awning. I mean, it's amazing. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's attached to your coach, right? You got two zippers here, just like an old tent, camping bag, sleeping bag, right? These just come undone like so. I'm gonna do one side and zip it all the way up. So let's say it's dark outside, right? Remember that light I told you about a little bit earlier? You can turn that on, it's kind of cool. And then this just zips up like so. Okay, so now you've got it completely exposed. And you go up here, make sure this piece gets up out of the way. And we're gonna go over this way. Make sure this piece right here is up out of the way. And then, just gonna grab this piece right here, actually. And why they call it a bat wing awning is it literally looks like a bat wing once it comes around. I mean, it is, and this material, super thick, super heavy duty. It's not super thin, it's not cheaply made. It's really, really cool. Then right here, this tie down is for the actual awning, okay? And once you get this piece over here like so, that attaches right into there. And that locks it in place for you, okay? Now it's fully exposed. What I thought was really cool is they added this extension to give you more support, give you a little bit of a runoff in case it rains or whatever. You also have this hole right here to let ventilation and airflow go through it so that it doesn't flop around nearly as much. Very sturdy, very strong. And then you do have this support right here as well. You unlock this. This comes out from underneath this little clamp right here. And this comes down just like so. Then depending on you know, what campsite you're at or whatever, this does have an adjustable leg, an adjustable arm. Then these are tie downs basically You've got little stakes that you get with it. So, kind of like your tent, whatever. You can stake this down to give you more security stability of the actual awning itself. So, I mean, this thing is just, covers literally, I don't know, probably a good 30% of the RV. So not only is it another shaded area, but it's also, you could make this another sleeping area. So if you wanted to have friends and family over, they're right here. You could have another spot for them to be able to camp outside with you or sleep. The other thing that I thought was really neat, there's an accessory. This piece right here, this is all Velcro. So there's an accessory that you can buy that basically makes 
an enclosure that goes all the way around the bat wing awning. So you actually have another tent camping type area if you want to, or you have a whole nother shaded aspect to your coach. Whatever you want to use it for, it's one of the coolest features I've ever seen on an adventure van. I hope this tour of the all new 2022 Winnebago Echo has been very informative to you. We've answered a lot of your questions. Obviously your feedback, your comments is very important to us. So please, any feedback that you wanna give, thumbs up, comments, questions, please let us know. If there's something we didn't answer in the video, please let us know. That's how we do our job better for you, all right? We love this product. I love this product. There is nothing else like it on the market. 23 feet offers so many off-road capabilities, off-the-grid capabilities with all the lithium technology, the solar, the all-wheel drive, the storage. It's a game changer in the Adventure Van series. It is going to be a hot, hot ticket item. We can't wait for you to come see it. I'm Barry with La Mesa RV.